Hi, my name is Emily, and this is the Delight Knits podcast, episode 34. Today is Sunday, July 9th of 2023, and this is my podcast where I like to talk about all that I've been knitting on. Um, since I last podcasted two weeks ago, I have two finished objects and two whips, one new cast on that I'm obsessed with. That I've been planning for a bit and so I'm happy to have that finally cast on. Um, so yeah, I will have everything or try my best to have everything linked and written out below in the description box. So let's get started. Um, these are my sample socks that I knit for Rachel of ZZ Textiles. These are the canoe socks, I think is how you say it, K-I-H-N-U. Um, they are out of a book only. They're not available for sale individually. Um, and so she sent me a PDF, a picture of the book that she has. Um, and that's what I knit for her. So these are a size two in her, um, wood paneled colorway and her velvet colorway from her newest Isabel Garner collection that closed last weekend I think. Um, she usually has quite a bit of leftovers after her collection and I think this one was an 8 to 10 week. Sorry for my dog barking. She got sent outside because she ate my daughter's sandwich. Um, but she'll also have both of these colorways in her sweater quantities library after the collection closes too. So they are gorgeous. Um, size two, it's got a ribbed section on either side that flows through the sock. And it even flows through thing. The th one, okay, these sock, the heel on this one is different than any heel I've done before. And um, so this is 72 stitch count. And then you knit the heel flap, I think it was 17, which matches, like, with the slip stitch heel flap that I do that I follow from the Crazy Sock Ladies videos and stuff. Um, that follows, but when you pick up to start the gusset, you only pick up 14. So, that was weird. And so, it does kind of look like it's um, coming in a little bit. And also, so you've got the slip stitch and then you've got a... Um, ribbing just a knit pearl or pearl knit pearl on either side too so that made it look longer than the slip stitches and the heel turn was also different so you kept it's just it's interesting and I might not I don't like the 17 the picking up less than your heel flap but I might actually try this style of heel turn on my next see how that does it's interesting but yeah that's these socks um they are blocked they are ready to get mailed um and yeah I'm just waiting on the shipping label from Rachel she had family in this weekend so I don't blame her for not working so I will get that mailed off this week this is the first time I've done color work socks I had just finished doing color work in all of those swatches for Addie's of Ruby and Rose's yarn, Yarnary collection. So she, which has been released and um, she is posting all the colorway reveals with those swatches and they are gorgeous. Make everything look great. And I will try and have that project page linked below as well for all of those swatches. Of course, I don't have them because she has them. So yeah, that's these socks. Um, I knit them exactly to pattern. My next finished object is my star flake i have not blocked it yet but it is finished ends are woven in i haven't snipped them because i like to wait to do that until after but here is my star flake i haven't quite looked at it um in camera and i love it i did do a little bit less on the extended border um I think I had to do like seven re garter repeats and I only did like four. I just got tired of it. I was done. It's enough. It'll block out big and it was an optional border anyways. So I finished my star flake. 
It looks gorgeous. Hopefully this will pick up for the screeny screenshot. Cause I haven't been doing good with those. Um, so the yarn is Mace of Skeins in Oh Fudge is the dark brown and Sandcastle is the light brown and her 7525 base. I don't know if it's a base that she's going to keep or if that she's keeping. I know she was doing a sale and she was revamping her bases. So that is that. I'm super happy with it. I bought this last year at the DFW Yarn Fest. Um, sadly, Macy's not vending, but she will be there. So it is sad, but then again, I'm not planning on buying a bunch of yarn and I would rather hang out with Macy anyways. So excited to see you then. September 15th, I think is when it is that weekend, Thursday through Friday. And I am taking a class with Leslie and Robinson as well. So I might try and block this this week and something. We'll see. But I'm so happy this is done. It turned out great. Um, yeah. My next project. Those were my finished objects. Um, I finished that one last week. Socks I finished for Thursday. Um, so I've been working on this. This is the Mist Tea by Leslie Ann Robinson. Let me go grab the book. Um, I keep all of my projects and stuff underneath that side of the bed. <laughs> Just keep them out. So this is in, or the Misty is in this book. My husband was walking outside the window right there. <laughs> And let's see if there's a, where's my bookmark? Here is what it is gonna look like. I am knitting it a little bit longer than suggested because I'm not a super cropped fan. I'm actually not a fan of high-waisted stuff, which is where the super cropped stuff goes with. But yeah, I have finished the brioche and I need to get into the split sleeve section and I just haven't had done that yet, so. Here is my dog, my Miss T. Um, it is, I think I'm knitting the second size, but I didn't gauge swatch. And I think it might be turning out bigger than what I was hoping, but we'll see. Um, I'm not ripping it out. It'll just go to somebody who it'll fit. The yarn is um, Ruby and Rose's yarn. This is tattered pages on her sparkle gold stellina i think it's rose gold base um and then this is twilight on her soft rose base um and i think it's turning out great um i think if i play it right i might be able to make it reversible at this point, I could choose which side I want. And I think I'm going to go with the pink on the outside. Yeah, if there's not anything. I was here last time I podcasted. God, that dog. Uh, I was in the black, at the black one last time I podcasted. And this was, I was trying to figure out how much I was knitting on Friday, so... I will move that black one now. I'll probably just take off the pink one. Um, but I have resolved the brioche stitches and now I need to just split for sleeves and start that. But this hasn't gotten any love since I cast on this new project from, I cast on on Friday. Um, this is being held in my Arkansas Yarn Co bag or an Arkansas yarn crawl bag from last year. This, I go through these really fast because it's only nine minutes in. Oh well. This is a yarn tangle and will be until I split for sleeve or until I join for sleeves and at the sleeve split. But this is the Guardi Cardi by Anna of the Bluebird Box. And this is out of all of my Ruby and Roses Soft Rose scraps. And the 2022 Advent 
colors. So I am going in her, in Anna's pattern, she has an appendix of color management and how to choose your colors and she suggests light to dark toned rather than color families and I'm, so I'm kind of going with that. I um, did have quite a bit more knit on this but the stark color change Yes, honey. You don't like what? I gotta go figure out what she don't like. I'll be back. She did not like the mayo I put on her sandwich. So, okay. I think I was talking about the color management. So I actually don't have all of those colors, like all the colors that I have. I had a box, I've shown them previously. Um, and I had it organized like light to dark monotone when you, you know switch it black and white and you can see it that way. Um, and I've kind of organized them. I put them in the advent bags, the order that I want to do it. So I don't have to, I was getting overwhelmed having to choose colors and pick the next color and stuff. So I am knitting the second size. It is a garter with, it's got a raglan seam. So you cast on stitches and then you do a raglan increase and then you start working back and forth for the front and back and side. And so for everything to match, cause I'm a little anal like that everything to match up like this I am knitting each piece so she actually has like ways you can split up the yarn based on weight and all that to use make it even it's really great pattern um lots of information and so I'm work I've worked the left front right front well right front left front and then I am working on the back now until the rest of this mini is gone. And then I will start in the next mini, which, well, mini or leftover. I think this is more of a leftover. I know this one is John Hancock from her Letter Writer collection. Um, so I've got this much. And I do have, so these are leftovers, not minis. So they are more than 20 grams. And so I think having this held with, it's fingering weight held double. I don't know if I said that. So like having this held with this will tone it down and like will tone in all the advent color, tone down all the advent colors. Um, it, I think it's essential to have a scale with this project. Um, let's see. I've got the picture. She had a checklist for each size for the raglan increases. And I loved that. Because you always just mark it on the pattern and stuff. But see, and she's got all these like how to organize it. Like if you organize it by color tone and then by color family. I did print it in black and white, so. I mean, it, it helps out, but then again, it doesn't. So here is her, um, in black and white, the Guardy Cardi by Anna of the Bluebird Box. Um, I need to purchase the main color for it, and I will purchase that from Addie's collection. Or I think I'm going to use typewriter or ink plot. It's either a I can't decide between a gray or a black or a super dark gray. That's that that I'm working on. I am obsessed. Let's see if ugh, this yarn management. I mean, I've still got. So I've got one strand hanging off of the right front. I've got one and a half strands because you can see the end right here. <laughs> um, hanging off of the left front and then I've got two working strands from the other but there's that so far I feel like I'm cutting my forehead off if I'm back here it's far away. 
Um, so yeah, I gotta get my sleeves. So that's where my sleeves will go. So I have to be thinking about keeping yarn for my sleeves too. And as soon as I join, I will be knitting my sleeves the same way I'm doing this where I will knit the body or I'll split the yarn and I will knit the body and the sleeves at the same time. Like I'll use the same mini all the way through. So I'm going to always have three to six strands of yarn included on this working on this so it's gonna be a mess but I think I can handle it this one's just in another tote bag it says I have needles and I know how to use them my by the bay bag go bags are holding all of my leftovers or if you want to call them leftovers they're pretty much full skeins of the yarnary collection from the swatches I think I've got like 20 no 30 to 40 skeins of yarn and all of that and so I will be knitting a few more swatches so she can complete a blanket out of all of them I think which is going to be great um so I can't really touch those until I know what she needs to finish that blanket so that's gonna be a lot but I think I did have like I probably had it down to here on both fronts and I had started on the back and it was I wasn't using so right now I'm using this Tattered Pages colorway because I have a lot of this colorway. Um, and then this from the Advent. But I had originally gone straight to this. So like from where it goes to here to this. And that was pretty stark change. I, um, yeah. And so I, I ended up ripping it out. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um... And so, yeah, I think next I am going to either hold these two together, because that'll tone this one down, or I'll hold these two together. Maybe. I've got a lot of this. Um, this is another one of those that I have left over, and so since I had already started knitting with it, it's already split. Well, actually, I had it split, because I frogged a couple shawls the Christmas sampler shawls that I knit um I frogged both of those because I've always been wanting to knit this like since I it was in the test knitting process so I've got this split up um so this can be one that I hold all throughout longer with the blues and maybe with the gray it'll tone it down and then this is another advent mini that I've got separated I think that I so I weighed the mini and I divided it by four or I divided by six I think I divided it by six I might have to weigh in again and then this is one six this is one six and this would be three six six or eight I don't know or fourth I, I really can't remember I did this a little bit ago um but left front right front and then back and then I was gonna pull some of these out for the sleeves too so, it's a lot of weighing. It's not an out of the house project. But once I have everything, like, I might get Ziploc bags and do, like, right, front, left, or sleeve one, sleeve two, and then body. And then I can just put them in the bags and that be separated instead of all just kind of sitting in here. But, yeah, so this is all that's attached right now. And it's a mess. And as soon as I finish this mini, I gotta figure out what color which of these colors I'm doing next. I think I'm gonna do the light blue next. With the pink. Yep, yep, cause that, they could all key into those a little bit. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, the color choices on this is what's gonna be the hardest. This is literally just knitting because it's garter and it's flat. So I don't have to pearl and the sleeves are just a stocking knit. They not, they're not garter. So I think that's going to work out. And I have so many our Ruby and Roses leftovers that I may be knitting my daughter one of these. I may be hacking it to a kid size and knitting my daughter one of these. She has been asking for a pink sweater 
I think she said blue the other day too. So we'll see. We'll see. There's also a little girl at church who is um, seven now. I don't know. I knit her dad a hat. I knit her brother a hat and I knit her other brother some gloves. And so her and her mom were the only ones I haven't knit for. And so I asked her if she would want a sweater or um, something like that. And I think she would enjoy it. And then I got to figure out what to knit for their mom. And then I've knit for everybody in their family. But with her being, she's older than my daughter. So I can knit her something and then I can say, hey, when you're grown out of this and you don't fit it anymore, pass it down and I'll knit you something else. Um, so, yeah, I enjoy knitting so much and I would love to knit her something. So, yeah, I'm just rambling on at this point. Um, I have, let's see, next week is the 15th and then the weekend after that is the start of the Arkansas Yarn Crawl on the 21st, I think, is that Friday? Sadly, I will not be able to be going there. I will leave either Thursday evening or Friday morning for my parents in the DFW area, Dallas area, Dallas, Texas. Um, because we've planned family pictures and we've had those planned for months now. Um, I, for some reason, I thought the Arkansas Yarn Crawl was the next weekend because it sort of encompasses two weekends. And I thought it was the 15th and the 21st. In reality, it's the 21st and the 29th. And usually everybody, a lot of people go on that first weekend. So I'm a little bummed. And Tristan from Dragon Horde Yarn is going to be at the store at Arkansas Yarn Co. on that Saturday and I'm pretty upset that I am going to miss it but that's life that's how it happens I'll get to go another time and it'll be okay I would do plan on going the next Saturday on the 29th so though so that's that these are marking where I split for sleeves here so I can measure them against each other. Um, and I've got one on the back. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm loving this and I can see myself knitting another one of these. I don't have a DK weight sweater or cardigan yet. Um, I still need to buy yarn for my alley sweater, which I will do. I just need to get some yarn knit up because uh, not enough storage space so yeah I think that's really all that's going on right now I am going to I have been reading and um I've been reading on my kindle I've been reading you can see my reflection there ha <laughs> look okay so you can see right in there that's our rose my rose bush we've had for a couple of years two or three years now we live in a double wide so we're up high that's probably six feet tall right there those roses <laughs> and we just love them um they're they're growing weird and stuff but they're super tall um that i love that we can see them out of our bedroom window so fun fact um but so I've been reading and I just bought myself, I sit in bed and read after my kids go to bed or I've been watching or reading. I've been into the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. I think I'm reading Queen of Shadows right now. I'm almost done with it. I have been doing this with that. Brioching and reading is like mindless to me. Or brioche is mindless, even two color brioche. So I've been brioche knitting and reading and that's been great i bought myself a little like tv tray that's got a thing to prop it up so i'm not like looking down while it's down here type thing um and so i'm excited for that to come in this week i'm ready to get to the body of this because then i don't have to like you're increasing every other row type thing for the front to start coming into close um you can kind of see it there so once i join this in the body this will be perfect like once I get my color split, of course, um, for the different things, this will be the perfect reading and knitting 
project. So I'm super excited for that. But And then that should just be garter for the front too. I may have to do some increasing to, for the sleeves and stuff, but I can do that while reading. Multitasking is great. So, okay, I think I've gone on for a little bit now. I hope everybody's had a great hot humid summer. It's been super hot and humid here. We actually got a lot of rain yesterday and today and we've needed it. We've got, oh, I can talk about my garden. Um, so we've got a pretty decent sized garden. Last weekend I spent a lot of it weeding because the grass and slash weeds have got, had gotten up to my knees and we hadn't done anything about it. Well, I took all of our boxes. If you remember Vlogmas, I went and had, or I showed you all my box bathroom. <laughs> That was pretty bad. Well, I cleaned that out and all the ones that like didn't have much tape on them or I pulled the tape off or um, weren't like the plastic covered co colored stuff. I took them out there. Um, we've got one watermelon that's about that big. We've got a cantaloupe that's about that big. We've got one tomato we could probably go pick. I have made three, six big mason jars of pickles out of our cucumbers. We might get some squash and corn. Yeah, that's been fun. I've enjoyed our garden this year. And yeah, the heat's just been insane. We needed this rain that we've had the cut last yesterday and today. So hopefully it'll let the ground soak in and maybe rain again later this week. We'll see. But I hope everybody's having a great summer and I will talk to y'all again in about two weeks maybe three weeks because two weeks would be the weekend I'm in Dallas so maybe three weeks so I will talk to y'all again later bye